Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Vroid Studio cartoon avatar, manga avatar into Blender 4.5.3. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step. First, what you need to do is just go to my video description to get the Vroid to FBX converter. And the next step, you need to open the Vroid to FBX converter there is a Blender 2.9 that given by me with the VRM importer, just need to activate that. Double click to open that version of the Blender. And just wait for a few seconds, it is going to launch it. Alright, now you can see this, this is Blender 2.9.0 alpha. Next. Just back to the previous folder, you can see the two ads on here, the Cats Blender's plugin add-on and also the VRM add-on for Blender. These two add-ons is for the Blender 2.9. So what you need to do is just click Edit, Preferences, go to click the add-on and install. Install these two, the Cats Blender's plugin. I, co I copy this folder's location and paste it here, Control V and just press Enter. So now I install the Cats Blenders plugin. Next, click install again, install the VRM set on. Then just go and search Cats. Search the Cats and then make sure the Cats Blenders plugin is already activated. Next, at here, search for VRM. Make sure that the VRM import and export both already. Already activated, then close it. Next, add here. Just stand by, click the empty area, just press A and just press delete button to stand by at here. Then back to the Vroid Studio at here. What you need to do is just export as VRM from the Vroid Studio. Then click export. Scroll down, just click export. wait for a while once you click the export just wait for a few seconds it is going to process everything then as demo I'm going to just export it the VRM file on my desktop the avatar sample F this is the file name I click save it is going to export as the VRM file so now next in the blender 2.9 here, click the empty area, just press N, and you should be able to see the Cats Blenders plugin. Click the triple line here, import the VRM from the desktop, double click it. Next, just maximize it, click the fix model. Wait for a few seconds, it is going to fix everything. And now you can see it is ready. At here, you need to export as the FBX file. Click File, Export, FBX. The path mode, you have to choose Copy and make sure you just tick, tick here. The file name, I'm going to just name this as Model01. Click Export. Export the FBX on the desktop. I click Export. Wait for a few seconds. Now, the FBX 3D model is ready. Now, I can just back to Back to the Blender 4.5.3 right here. Just import the FBX. I just press A and just press delete everything. Import the FBX file into here. Everything will complete. Just click import the FBX. I'm going to show you later all of the facial expressions and also the all the skeletons are work properly. I just turn on the, the material texture here. Right here you need to just wait for a few seconds, it's going to load all the materials just at once. Alright, it is still loading. Just be patient. Alright, now you can see the material already come out. So next, we are going to just test the facial expression. I click the, click the body and just go to data here. I'm going to just test the facial expression, for example, the joy. So everything done, fun, angry. 
sorrow. The facial expression. Surprise. And also, just test some of the advising. The lip sync, like the mouth close. For example, open the mouth. You can create a lip sync 3D animation. Everything ready. Click the bone, click the skeleton. Then, viewport display, just show it in front. You can manipulate everything. Well, complete. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the Vroid Studio cartoon avatar, the manga 3D avatar, into Blender 4.5. This is the Blender 4.5. Point three, with the full facial expressions and also the skeleton, the full blend shape of the shape key. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!